Hi there, so this month's release of Power BI included a new organization chart feature that I wanted to run through real quick. Actually, I'm gonna show you two. One that I originally designed to show you and then a second that I stumbled across when I was putting this demo together. So I'm gonna show both of those to you. First, I'm gonna show you the end result, then we'll go ahead and remove the chart and then build it from scratch so you can see what it looks like. So what I've got set up is uh, one of my favorite data sets, which is uh, the Mad Men data set. And I've taken it and shaped it into something that can be used for an organizational chart. So you'll have to forgive me if the organization isn't set up the way that you thought it was when you watched the show, but for sake of demo, uh, I had to make a few modifications to it. So uh, this is the first chart here, uh, very detailed in what I can build uh, in it. So I've got uh, the picture that I'm choosing uh, via a image link that I've found online in the Mad Men uh, fandom wiki. Uh, and then I've got the title of the actual, of the individual person. Uh, I've color coded each of the boxes. So the senior partner is red, uh, the second level here is purple. Uh, the group under Don Draper is yellow and the group under Roger Sterling is green. Uh, if I hover over any of the chart items here, I'll get the actor that portrays that particular character. So in this case, Don Draper is portrayed by John Hame. So that's on there. Peggy Olson is portrayed by Elizabeth Moss and so on. So that's a uh, kind of setup. There's a lot of great, great features in, and uh, detail to some of the data that can be pulled in uh, for this particular chart. Uh, so to get the chart, it's it's in the marketplace. So we'll go to import a visual from the marketplace here, and uh, we're going to choose or type in uh, organization. I think if you just do org, well, we'll do organization here uh, it should come up. So let's do do that real quick. Yeah. So the one that I'm using is called organizational chart. Just click add. Uh, I believe the company who developed it is a, a Chinese company, so that's why you'll see uh, some of the characters here in the background. Unfortunately, I was not able to eliminate that from the background of the image. Changing the color doesn't get rid of it either. Uh, so if, if that's going to bother you, uh, it's a limitation of the, of the chart. <clears throat> All right, so the data piece of it. Uh, how does the data work? So. I'm pulling it in this, this data in from an Excel spreadsheet. You certainly obviously don't have to do that. You could pull it in from any of the sources that, data, that Power BI uses. Uh, in my mind, I'm thinking that maybe this could be on a SharePoint list and you have your you have your uh, organizational chart listed there, uh, similar to this kind of a setup. You may have to add a few columns or, or whatever to get it to look the way that you want, but uh, the basic layout could come from there. And then if the SharePoint site is updated, images are changed, uh, we don't have to mess around with Power BI, BI at all. It's just changed on the SharePoint list and Power BI gets updated. So that's um, that's probably the best way to do it, the way that I would, I would design it. Of course, using a, a database is a good way of doing it too. So um, first thing I need, I need an ID field for each of the records. And then uh, I need a parent ID uh, to which that record will be a child of or attached to. So for instance, Bertram Cooper is sort of your CEO and uh, Roger Sterling and Don Draper, in my example, both report to him. So the parent ID for those two characters is a one. Uh, and pointing back to Bertram Cooper there. So that's that's the setup there. I put in the name of the character. I also have a column uh, that's the actor. Uh, one of the things I did notice is I originally listed this as portrayed by with a space between the words portrayed and by and the chart did not pick up on that and it didn't pull in any of the names. So that's one limitation of the visual is uh, no spaces between the column name. So, um, so the actors are listed there, the title of that particular character in the show. And then I have a link here to the, uh, to the fandom wiki site for uh, the actual character. So when I click on that character, if I go back to the visual for a moment here and I click on this node, it'll say, do I want to open up this particular character? And when I do that, I'm going to pull in the, the link here. You'll see Bertram Cooper pops up. So that works. Uh, and then I have a color that I could uh, put into the background, and that's the the background red, purple, yellow, and green that you see here. 
So that's uh, within the file as well. And then an image URL. So this image here that you're seeing displayed is coming directly from the, uh, the fandom wiki set here, just like it is here. So again, going back to my SharePoint example, if the values changed for some reason, the images changed, uh, as long as the link stayed the same, uh, the images would be updated within your Power BI visual. All right, so that's uh, a quick and easy layout just to show you how fast this gets built here. So if I drop in, drop in the visual and uh, pull in the ID to the ID field, uh, the parent ID will look something like that. Drop in the parent ID field. For the label, uh, <clears throat> I used the title of the individual. So uh, that's, that's uh, what's going to show up as the actual title that will be displayed within the node itself. And then <clears throat> for the image, I want to use the image URL. And you'll see it's not, it's not um, the dimensions aren't correct, so I'll fix that there in a, in a minute here. And then the color, I'm using the hex color, so you'll see the backgrounds change slightly there. If I didn't have an image, then the color would show up uh, throughout the whole node. And then the link that I'm going to use to the site doesn't have a visual impact. And then uh, the actor is going to drag and drop into the tooltip there. So now it'll come over. This is where I was saying if there's a space between any of the words in the column name, it was not showing up correctly when I did the tooltip hover over. So just a limitation of the visual, it looks like. All right, and then I got to make a small change here. So uh, I'm going to turn the title off because I don't need the title on there. And then I'm going to go into the nodes and uh, the particular images that I'm using, um, I believe are 170 by 200. I think that's correct, yeah. So uh, that looks about right. Uh, and then uh, I can make modifications to the border and title and all the other stuff that, that we're used to seeing uh, and you know expand everybody and see it there. Oh, I did make one other change. In the label, um, I didn't want it to be black, so I want it to be kind of a gray color there. Uh, so it looked a little bit better lined up with the images. With the labels too, I couldn't really change. Uh, I'll take a look at the spacing here, but there's not much I could do with the layout. So maybe if I wanted that, that label to come down just a little bit to be above the, the name, uh, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot I could do to change it. I could, I could sort of make it a little bit smaller or bigger, but <clears throat> that was, I couldn't say I wanted it to be vertically aligned to the top or put some padding in there uh, to change where it was. So uh, that's that one. Moving on to the second one. So the next one that, that I came across was a hierarchy chart, uh, which you could, you could change into an organizational chart or make it be an org chart. Uh, not there's no ability to, to drag and drop images in here so uh, you're stick you're stuck with just text that's all you're gonna get it does have a neat feature where we can we can click on the plus and minus sign here and expand the different layers click quickly where in the previous one in order to do it I had to click on each individual one and it reset whenever I made changes to the visual which was kind of a pain uh, this one has a few more options around the nodes so uh, I can change the spacing between each of the nodes. So if I wanted to make this two, you'll notice it's right on top of it. Uh, put it back to 10 and it gives me a little bit more space. I can change the actual title. So I could make it something like 24 point font and then I can change the subtitle here as much as I want. Uh, and then I'm, I have the name, the title first and the name second. Uh, but that's just the way that the data is laid out. I could swap those two if I wanted to. Um, that would work as well. Uh, everything else is pretty similar. Uh, an ID <clears throat> goes in here, and then there's also a parent ID, so it knows where, so Power BI knows where to put that particular node within the hierarchy. So very simple, very easy layout for both of these org charts. Uh, this hierarchy chart, again, is added from the, mar the marketplace. So when we go in there, uh, just do it as a just do it as a hierarchy uh, as the name, and you should be able to find it uh, in there. And the one that I chose was this hierarchy chart here uh, by Acfalon. <clears throat> That's the one that I use. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the uh, the demo there. Uh, post any comments or questions that you have below. I'm also going to put links to where the fandom site is in case you want to work on rebuilding what I put together yourself. Also, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Thanks.